Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I would kind of take a wee bit of a break from the Halloween tutorials and just sit and do a chit chat get ready with me. <laughs> chit chat get rid of me's are, they're all that fit me right now. <laughs> for today's makeup look, I don't actually know what I'm going to do. I want to do something with the, hold on, Jaclyn Hill palette. I dug this out from underneath everything else. Like, I haven't actually dug into mine that much to be honest. So I actually really want to use this palette today and I'm going to do something quite smoky and very seasonal. So I'm first off going to start on my base makeup just to get that done quickly and out of the way. I won't be doing my eyebrows on camera but if you are interested I do have an updated eyebrow trial. It's always linked in the description box. So for foundation, this is a new foundation I've never tried before. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longer Foundation. This was sent to me in PR and talking about NARS, <laughs> um, I got a PR package. I think it was last Monday actually. I had got a PR package. I was not expecting it and I just happened to open it up and it was a pile of NARS products. I nearly shared it's my pants. <laughs> they sent me out six products, um, so I gave three products away and I kept three products because I either wouldn't use them or I already had the products, so I didn't really need them. And please excuse my eyes, just hold on till I put some foundation over them. <laughs> because my eyes are so stained from yesterday's Halloween tutorial with the purple and the orange. That's actually a really nice foundation, <laughs> oh my god. And look how that orange has like stained my waterline and everything. <laughs> Don't mind my crusty ass lips. Oh my goodness, it looks absolutely flawless. And to conceal, I also got the concealer to go with the foundation and this is in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. So this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm just going to put a few wee dots back and forth just in the inner corner because I don't really need much brightness or coverage today. Where's my beauty blenders? Where is my fucking beauty blenders? In my handbag. Why? And a nice up for powder, I'm just going to use my usual technique super fine translucent powder. I just set lightly just all over just before I go in and bake. I'm just going to use my Cody Air Sponge just to bake my under eyes and it's just mainly my T-zone. This is the MEA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlight in the shade Radiant Cashmere. I'm honestly still on a no buy whenever it comes to makeup at the minute. I'm Basically in the middle of like trying to use up like all my makeup that I do have and I've had for quite a, <laughs> quite a number of years. These wee MEA highlights are one of them. I have so many of these. I think I have about four. I have other colours that I know that I definitely will not use. I don't even know why I'm holding on to them but I don't know. But this shade in particular, the Radiant Cashmere, is beautiful. This is absolutely <laughs> Done and I just like to go on with this one first just to, to give just a wee light dust Just all over with the fan brush Like they're just absolutely beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Gilda Honey by Laura Geller, but just just slightly But I'm not just gonna go over that then with a lighter highlighter and this is gonna be my more intense highlight And then I just like to hit that cheekbone Oh, and I have a blush, I'm just going to be using the L'Oreal Life's of Peach blush. This is one I've actually been using quite a lot recently. It's absolutely beautiful and especially for the makeup look that I'm going to be doing today. Because I think I'm just going to be going with some nice warm tones. Oh, isn't it just beautiful? Next up to bronze, I'm going to be using the bronzer from Pineland. And this is their matte bronzer in the shade Matte Light 1. Honestly, it's such a beautiful bronzer. Okay guys, so I just went off camera there and done my eyebrows. So and now I'm just going to start on the eyes. So this is the original Jaclyn Hill palette. The very first palette she came out with with Morphe. So I am going to be just pointing at the shades. I do apologise that I don't have the names for them. Whenever I got this, I didn't, it didn't actually come off the wee slip 
that had the names on it. I don't know if anybody else had that issue, but yeah, I didn't get that wee slip. So I'm probably just gonna go in with this shade first. So it's basically the third one in from that side. I'm just gonna pop in this just in the crease, just as my transition. Aww. And he also watches Shanik So on YouTube. So Shanik So is my number one. She is my absolute favourite YouTuber. She is my go-to. I absolutely love her. She has now released her own palette with Exo Beauty. Exo Beauty is her brand and I'm so excited for her. I absolutely love the palette. It's absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, I haven't actually purchased anything from her brand before because it is New Zealand and I'm not too sure about the shipping and the customs and stuff but I definitely have to purchase this palette I just really have to support her in that way but I was on Instagram the other day and I just happened to literally just scroll by the reveal of the palette and it was just like I'm so fed up I'm so fed up and I'm so bored and I'm sure so many people feel the same way. I am just so bored with all these new makeup releases and I would say that there are companies and big brands out there that think that it's the other way around where we are bored where they think we are bored. So it's like, yeah, we have to pump out palettes upon palettes upon palettes and products every week, every fortnight. Whereas no. <laughs> if you actually listen to the consumer and the customers, you just realise that we're actually bored because of the amount of products that's actually being released. Like I literally just go scroll through Instagram and like I do follow the trend mid page, so I see it all. So whenever I see like any palette or any makeup release, I'm like, yawn, scroll past it. And that's what I ended up doing with Shanik, so I felt so bad, so guilty. This shade here. I'm not going to blend anything just yet. I'm just going to pop this just in that rounded shape. I'm wanting to talk to you about a few video ideas. Um, what do you think of Empty's videos? Like I know Tati and Kathleen Lights still does them and I think Shanexo does them now and again but I don't know like it's they're really OG <laughs> YouTube videos that I don't know if anybody likes or would want or would watch whereas I love those types of videos like I'm so nosy I want to know what you've used up like would you pie it would <laughs> I have been recently keeping and putting by like all my hair care skincare and makeup products that I've used up so Am I wasting my time or is it something you would generally want to see? Like, is that something you would be interested in? Do you like those videos? Do you not? <laughs> I'm still taking that with Sigma brush. I'm not going to take any more product on the brush. But I'm now just going to just lightly just blend that shade out. And into the Jaclyn Hill palette again. I'm going to go for the darkest brown in the palette. No, sorry, this is the darkest brown. Um, but just this brown here. And just like that second shade, I'm going to basically repeat those steps. I'm just going to go around in that circle shape. Ah, oh, aren't brown tones just absolutely fabulous? So he is going to be getting the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson palette. It's so funny, you know, he really has no idea that he's going to sell out. How can you be so blind <laughs> to how much people actually like you? It's actually really frustrating, but oh my god, he is in for such a shock. Like, I've never purchased a Jeffree Star palette because... <laughs> Not because of him, but personally, they're out of my price range. Yeah, it's going to be my first purchase from Jeffree Star in terms of his eyeshadow palettes, which I'm actually really looking forward to and actually trying his formula. But he just has no clue. He has no clue that he's going to sell out. <laughs> I'm going to go back into that previous brush and the previous shade that we were using before we went into the dark brown. And that's what I'm going to use to blend out this dark brown. I'm just going to cut the crease. I'm just going to do what I've done yesterday. I'm going to take one of these wee... What are these even called? I know Americans call them Q-tips. But what do we call them? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um, and then some micellar water. And I'm just going to use this just to clean up my cut crease. So that the shadow doesn't like mix in with the concealer. So I'm now just going to cut the crease. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 16-hour camo. 
concealer. I've actually been meaning to talk to you guys about this concealer. <sighs> I don't know if I like it or not. It's really, really weird. I would say, honestly, if you have oily skin. Now, I have dry skin, but I do prefer mattifying products. I prefer a matte finish, matte base, etc. Um, but if you have oily skin, please, for the love of God, try this concealer. Or if you have oily skin and you have tried it, what do you think of it? It just seems to be so heavy duty, so full coverage, but yet it dries down so, so quick. I just kind of thought that it would be really, really good if you actually do have like an oily T-zone or just oily skin in general. Hi. <laughs> okay, so this is honestly as neat as I can get this cut crease. So... I'm just going to make sure I have most of that excess product wiped off the brush, basically all the product. And I'm just going to stamp the eye, I'm just going to try and get the most of that excess concealer off. Yep, that's completely dried, like that is literally not even budging. Oh, it is a wee bit now. My god. I'm now going to start with the this shade here. I'm going to place this shade on the outer and the inner corner. I don't know if that's a wise idea or not. And then I'm just going to take this shade here. This is the shade that we use for our transition. So I'm going to use the shade next to it. And I'm just going to use this shade to blend out that darker brown. I'm just going to call that blue. So I'm also packing these shades on slightly diagonally as well. I'm going to go with the EYN Bright Mattes palette. This is the palette I was also using yesterday, so I'm going to go with this matte white shade. Put that just down the centre, just to make that pop a bit more. So I'm just basically have making this eye makeup look, just like a matte spotlight eye. And I'm not going to go in and swipe in motions, I'm just going to start patting. Because whenever you go on pat motions, it just does a more subtle blend for you. Oh, it's actually really nice. It just makes the cut crease pop as well. I'm just going to use some of the Kat Von D Tripper Liner just to do just a wee small line just to hide the lash band of my false lashes. That's why my lashes are drying. I'm just going to use the NARS Climax Mascara. I did get sent this mascara in PR there, as I was saying at the start of the video. I've never tried a NARS mascara. I personally find that they're just far too overpriced. I think that we are very, very lucky to have drugstore brands that have really, really good mascaras. So I just kind of find that like high-end mascaras, they're okay. <laughs> can't believe I'm using a NARS mascara. I feel like such a YouTuber. <laughs> it's pretty basic, isn't it? Nothing special. Me. I as well do my lip liner while we're sitting here waiting for my lashes to dry as well. So MAC Strip Down. So guys, how are you? Really, how are you? Because I am never done talking to you about how I am, what's going on in my life and what's new with me. So what is new with you guys? How are you feeling? I really enjoy actually getting to know you guys. Like a few of you will message me on Snapchat and over Instagram. Like you will just send me like a nice wee message and like you'll tell me where you are from and like you will tell me like some personal things. Like sometimes it's shitty things which I'm so so sorry to hear and then sometimes it's really good things and like I inspire you and stuff. I always try to reply to everybody but I just really like getting to know you. Like you are just like my friends now like that's honestly the way I see it and I just love it whenever you message me. Um, like as I say whether it be over Snapchat or over Instagram, I've had people message me and these are from like literally all over the world and it just, it just, it's so 
humbling like it really is so humbling I just find it absolutely amazing because I just see myself as just I know I'm down to earth and I know that I am normal because I don't know any different <laughs> but just knowing that, that I, I have so many people out there all over the world that you know like used to tell me that you love me <laughs> and that you enjoy my videos something I'm having to get used to I just love it whenever you message me and like tell me your story, tell me about you, like tell me if you have kids, if you're pregnant, if you're getting married, like what you do for a living, where you're from, whatever. I love hearing it. I honestly I love hearing it. It lets me know you guys, like it lets me get to know you. Like I feel like I sometimes already know you anyway because I do recognise the usernames. <laughs> Every single time in my videos I always recognise the usernames. It's as if I'm nearly waiting for you to comment. But at the weekend I had met a subscriber of mine. Um, and it's weird because like I... She's technically a family member of mine. She is my aunt's granddaughter. I can't actually remember how I heard about her that she loved my videos and whatever. But I had heard that she had wanted to meet me anyway. And I was like, yeah, bring it on, no problem. <laughs> anyway, I met her on Saturday. So Eva, if you're watching, it was so lovely to meet you. I will post up a wee picture here. Um, I'll probably get your mom's permission to post this up on the internet. <laughs> but it was honestly so, so nice. And it was so humbling, like that as well. Like to me, like no offense or anything, but I find that extremely weird in a good way because again like I was saying I just see myself as just like a normal girl it's just weird that like I have like we fans <laughs> let's just say it's really nice and it just kind of gives me such a push to keep on doing this and keep on like thriving through YouTube it honestly does give me a kick up the ass and it honestly gives me meaning behind this I've nearly got to the stage where like I'm not just sitting here doing makeup tutorials anymore like I'm sitting like, I feel like I'm literally just sitting here talking to, like, a bunch of friends that I don't even know. <laughs> but I feel like I do know you, and that's what I mean whenever I say that I like it whenever you talk to me, because I like to get to know you personally. I like to get to know your usernames, your names. I just, I just would love to get to see you and meet you all. Meet every single one of you, give you a big hug, give you a squeeze. But I just know that I would be shit in my pants like honestly <laughs> um do you know i think that's as smoky as i'm gonna go actually because i don't want it to be too smoky i'm gonna use this wee color pop liquid lip i think this is a collaboration with somebody that i can't pronounce K-A-R-R-U-E-C-H-E X Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the Seed Chai. Ooh, love that. I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cults. This lipstick is perfect if you're wanting an ombre lip if you're using a darker colour because that's the shade of it there and it is literally like the, the colour of somebody's skin tone. I just like to take the time to do that just in the centre of the lips. Like, as you can see on the lips, it is very, very light. And then I just like to use my stinker. Just blend that out. Do you know, I've gone off the idea of getting lip filler. I just don't want to be one of these influencers that has a face full of filler. <laughs> these days, does it come with the job? <laughs> like, I just don't want to be one of those. But never say never. That's what I always say. <laughs> Ooh, that is so nice. So I don't know if I mentioned to you guys that because my hair is quite short now, I'm struggling to style it a wee bit. So I've just come up with the conclusion that I don't wash it. Ever. <laughs> my hair was literally just sitting up there by itself. That's how dirty it is. I actually can't remember the last time I washed my hair. Dry shampoo. Is going to now be my best friend because I find that like the Batiste dry shampoo is kind of like a dry texturizer as well so <laughs> love that for me <laughs> okay 
Okay guys, so this completes this makeup tutorial. I hope it's all enjoyed. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so yeah, this completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed this wee chit chat, get ready with me. And I really do hope that you don't mind these types of videos because, uh, yeah, I just love filming these types of videos. Just sitting down, talking to you guys, letting you get to know me and just having a good old chit chat and just like playing with makeup. So yeah, I actually love how this makeup look came out. I actually, it's so perfect for this time of year. I am loving it and I'm also loving the nude lip. I know I always do a nude lip but I think this nude lip is slightly more like neutral cool toned and it just ties in really really well with this makeup look especially for this time of year. Absolutely beautiful. Ties the whole look in together and I absolutely love it. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter and also my Depop. They will be linked down below in the description box and yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and I shall see you in my next one.